In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete a VAT return in Xero. Okay, in Xero, before you ever do a VAT return, you want to go to settings, choose general settings, and then go to the financial settings. And what we're looking at is the VAT section here. You want to check that you've chosen the right VAT scheme. The standard one is accrual scheme, the right VAT period, that would normally be quarterly, and that your VAT number has been input. Once you're happy with all of that, you would just select save. You only do that once, but you would do it before you ever submit a VAT return in Xero. Okay, let's look at submitting your VAT return. You go to reports and you choose VAT return. And then the quarter ending this date should be accurate. If it's not, you can change it. You want to tick the box, include VAT late claims. That means if you missed anything in your last VAT return, it will be included. If you make any changes here, you would select update. And then when you scroll down, you will see your VAT return and you could go straight to file VAT now to submit it. But we want to do a couple of further checks before we do that. And these are very important. So the first check I want you to do is I want you to click on the tab that says VAT audit report. And on this report, you will see every transaction that's included in your VAT return. Now clearly I'm on a demo so there aren't many transactions here and your own VAT return the chances are there will be lots more transactions. But what I want you to do is I want you to check every single transaction on this report to make sure that they are accurate and they're correct. So you're looking at VAT on income and you're looking and these are sales invoices so you know by looking at them that it's correct that you would claim VAT on these. Then we get to the VAT on expenses and these are purchase invoices or receipts. We scroll through them quickly and we say yes we should be claiming VAT on these and then we come to ABC Electrical and there's something in the back of my mind that says ABC Electrical are not VAT registered so there shouldn't be VAT. So I want to check that. So I can just click on the invoice to check it. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the backup document from ABC. There's not much to this purchase invoice, but there's enough to let me know that yes, it's right that there's no VAT on that invoice. So I'm going to amend the invoice and I can do it right here. So I'm going to choose Bill Options. I'm going to choose Edit. The unit price should be 360. And I'm going to choose Zero Rated Expenses and I'm going to hit update. And then I'm going to go straight back to where I was to the VAT return and then back to the audit report. And now when I check it, I am happier here because I've got the transactions where I'm claiming back VAT, I've checked them all, and now I've got ABC Electrical with no VAT to claim back. As I've said, this is demo data, so there's not a lot here. If you have a lot of transactions, what I suggest is you scroll down you choose the export option and either export to Excel or Google Sheets, depending on which one you use. So if we export to Google Sheets, I clicked on the tab that says VAT audit report, even though you couldn't see that on your screen. And on this spreadsheet, it's just going to be easier to check transaction by transaction than looking at it on a screen. So say I want to, you to check every transaction, no matter how many there are, but you could check them very quickly, just scanning down, making sure that on here, it's correct sales invoices with VAT to pay, purchase invoices and receipts with VAT to claim back. And then this section here is for zero rated items. And there would also be a section for any transactions with no VAT. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to double check your transactions. And now, can we go to file VAT now? Well, not just yet. Okay, we've headed back to our VAT return and we've scrolled down and we can see that according to the VAT return, the VAT amount we have to pay to HMRC is £810. Now I want to check that amount before I hit submit. So I'm going to go to the dashboard, choose reports, choose trial balance and then the date of our VAT return is the 30th of September so I will choose that date and I will select update. And on the trial balance I want to go over to the right to the year-to-date figures. I'm scrolling down to the liabilities section 
and I'm looking at the VAT amount. And the VAT amount there is 810. Reminder, we head back to our VAT return and it's the same figure, 810. So now I'm happy for you to go ahead to the green file VAT now. So what have we done before we've got to this stage? We've checked that our VAT settings are correct. We have checked that we're happy with every transaction going through the VAT report and we've checked that the balance agrees. Then and only then will we hit file VAT now. We're happy with the details that are there. We choose file and publish. And then clearly I can't do this in demo data, but you would fill in your government gateway login details and you would hit the final file and publish. And that's your VAT return completed in zero. You'll get notification from HMRC if you went to reports and all reports. Again, we're on demo data here, so it's a bit difficult, but if we went to filed with HMRC, that's a section that would include all the reports that have been filed and accepted by HMRC. If we go to published, once the VAT return has been completed, we will be able to find it there as well. So that is how you complete a VAT return in Xero. Don't be fooled into thinking it's only five clicks. Make sure that your settings are accurate. Make sure that everything on your VAT return is accurate and make sure that the balance is accurate. Do these checks before you hit submit and you will be absolutely fine doing VAT returns in Xero. As always, if you like my videos, please let me know that you like them. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when new videos are uploaded each week. Until next time, happy zeroing. <music>